Hal and Marlene Rogers may be considered senior citizens, but judging by their sleep schedule, they might look more like teenagers, often staying up into the wee hours of the morning. For the past 25 years, the Rogers have worked the overnight shift together at Donut Stop, the donut and coffee shop they own located in downtown Omaha, Nebraska. My name is Hal Rogers. I have a donut and coffee shop with my wife at uh, 13th and William in Omaha, Nebraska. I've had 13 shops. 25 years ago, give or take a month, we bought it from two ladies that were running it. And uh, the rest is history, I guess. The Rogers got involved in the donut industry, mostly by chance. Uh, why donuts? Well, it was my husband's idea, first of all. He was in the radio business and in the bar business, and the opportunity came up to be in the donut business, and there was a shop for sale in Nebraska City. And so he got a phone call from, I guess it was the realtor, and he just accepted the, to buy the business over the telephone. Never even saw it before. We started open, opening earlier and earlier, and they kept coming and kept coming. I'm open because overall we're busy at night. It just caught on. People like to play games, have donuts. Groups of teenagers often come to Donut Stop between 8 p.m. and 3 a.m. to hang out and play one of the many board games packed onto a bookshelf inside the shop. Marlene said many of the games were gifts from customers, including a version of Monopoly called Catopoly. The kids started playing the games, and the, we had a little, just a little table over there with games on initially, and you know we had so many, we finally got a case like we have now, and it's full. <laughs> the kids like them. The kids that come in, uh, they started. One family with a family of five children came in when they gave me the first few. Then other kids see it and they want to participate, so they bring their pictures and everybody wants to have something hung up. <laughs> yeah, they, they're good kids, good families, a lot of loyal customers. The process of making homemade donuts can be long and difficult, and Hal said it can be easy to mess up. The Rogers are constantly having to bake during the night so they don't run out of product. It takes about, uh, if you're making raised donuts, it takes about two and a half hours of mixing and, and uh, proofing before you can have donuts out. The cake donuts takes about 20, 30 minutes for the machine to warm up, and you can put those out right away. They're all popular. The glazed donuts and the cake donuts usually kind of go first. And of course, we have a nut wide variety of Long John's, Bismarck's, Fritters, cinnamon rolls, on and on. The Rogers have been married for 28 years and said they enjoy getting to spend time with each other by owning a business together. Uh, it keeps us together, keeps us something to talk about. And, you know, we switch hours once in a while, we're not always working together, but uh, we have our different shifts and it works out very good. Donut Stop's primary decorations include a variety of animal posters. Both of the Rogers are self-described animal lovers and said they wanted to show that love in their store. We have four uh, house cats in the house, but my husband uh, and I, went both, we feed a lot of the outside cats and take care of them. But we have them all spayed and neutered so we don't have them multiply. So we try and control the population as best we can. And we have nice, comfortable winter uh, rooms for them to sleep in with uh, heat and uh, hot water and bedding and all that. They're well cared for if they live in our neighborhood. <laughs> we feed the birds and the, and the coons and the possums and the skunks and the woodchucks and everything out in the alley. Our, some of our day old donuts we'll put out in the alley just in us to, to love all animals. Yeah. Kinda, they're kind of dependent on the humans to take care of them, so I don't like to see anybody go hungry. Even though she often puts in 12 hours or more each day at the shop, Marlene has just one thing to say about the donut business. I love it. love it. It's very rewarding. It's, it's nice to if you have a good product at a good price and customers come and they appreciate that. So overall, it's a very rewarding occupation. I would probably not get tired of any job that does well, and this does well for us.